let's take just a minute to talk about starting the cut with a handsaw. Now, if you used a handsaw before, you may have seen people do this. And that's how they start the cut. And that's how a lot of books will tell you to start the cut. Drag the saw back a few times till you get a groove started and go ahead and start the cut. And that may work. Uh, it will work with a cross cut saw. It's not a bad technique because there are bevels on the teeth. In this case, I'm using a rip saw and it did work with this because this is very soft pine. However, If I switch that pine out for a piece of white oak, that technique doesn't work so well. The saw tends to jump around. It doesn't really cut much of a groove. And it and it doesn't help a whole lot. Why? Because this wood is a lot harder than this soft pine. So I'm going to suggest you practice a different technique for starting your saw. And it's a technique that I teach all of my students that are new to using hand saws. And it's a drill or a, a practice that I call saw without sawing. It's a very simple concept. The idea is, you're going to take your saw, you're going to put it on the board, and you're going to move it back and forth, and I want you to saw without sawing. I want you to basically get as close to that board as you can without actually cutting it. Tick the surface if you can. The idea of this exercise is it's going to teach you to take the weight of the saw off the wood. And you'll hear a lot of people say, when you're starting a saw cut, take the weight of the saw, lift the weight of the saw off the wood. Well, it's very hard to demonstrate that or teach somebody to understand what it feels like to take the weight of the saw off the wood. This concept, this practice drill um, or exercise, if you will, helps to give you that feeling saw without sawing. And if you work on this technique of sawing without sawing for just a couple minutes, what you're going to find all of a sudden is that you don't need to drag the saw back to start the saw cut. Because the technique of sawing without sawing takes the weight of the saw off the wood and you can very easily start the saw cut. And once it's started, then you can let the saw drop into the cut. So take a few minutes before we move on to the next video where we're going to start our first project and take a few minutes and practice this exercise. Start with a saw, maybe a joinery saw or a cross cut saw and a relatively soft wood until you get the hang of it. Once you can do it in a soft piece of wood, move up to something a little harder like oak or cherry or maple or whatever you have available, and move up to a saw with bigger teeth. Once you can learn to master the technique of sawing without sawing and starting the cut with a very aggressive large tooth rip saw in something like white oak, you'll be able to start a saw very easily in any wood with any saw.